Hello there, my name is Kim Ventrella and today I wanted to talk a little bit about my new middle grade novel, The Secret Life of Sam. The Secret Life of Sam starts out in a beautiful swamp, dragonflies everywhere, this amazing glassy green surface, alligators lurking, and stories abounding. Sam and his pa love to sit on the dock right behind their house cracking an ice-cold orange crush, fishing, and Pa weaving his famous tall tales. He's always telling stories about monsters and amazing magical creatures that perhaps inhabit the swamps, as well as amazing stories from his past, like the time he battled a real-life warthog. Really? Sam doesn't quite know which stories to believe, like which are true and which are made up. But it doesn't matter. He just loves the stories and he loves his life on the swamps with Pa. Now this is what his life is like before the novel begins. But right before the novel starts, tragedy strikes and Pa is killed in a car accident. Sam doesn't know what to do. It's always just been him and Pa on the swamps. An aunt, Aunt Jo, that he hasn't talked to in four years, swoops down to rescue him and to take her to live with him in Oklahoma, and this is where the story begins. But it doesn't feel like being rescued to Sam. It feels like being ripped away from everything he has ever known. He has to leave behind his house, the swamps, and all of Pa's stories. So he's dragged across the country. Here's Aunt Jo, and they're basically strangers. They haven't talked in so long. He doesn't really know why. It seems like she had some kind of argument with Pa in the past, but he has to unravel that and figure out what happened. So he's not having any of it. He gets to Holler, Oklahoma. It's dusty. It's windy. It's absolutely nothing like what he knows. It's so small and empty, and he hates everything about it, basically, until... This mysterious cat, who seems oddly familiar, but Sam can't quite place him, leads him to a tree behind his school. Now this tree is like dead and gnarled, and it has this gaping maw of a hollow that looks like a huge mouth in the center. And what he discovers is that once a day, at the exact time of Pa's accident, he can climb inside this hollow and be transported to the swamps where he can be with Pa once more. Except the swamps are not quite the same as they were. Everything's bigger, larger than life, more vibrant. It's almost like the tall tales that Pa used to tell are coming to life right before his eyes. So he's getting to experience some of these stories, some of Pa's memories, and he's getting to be with Pa again. The only problem is that this doorway, this portal only stays open for a few minutes a day and he learns it won't stay open long. So can Sam find some kind of way to be with his pa once more permanently? Or will he have to learn the lesson that sometimes loving someone means having to say goodbye? That's just a little bit about my new middle grade novel, The Secret Life of Sam. I hope you'll check it out. Thanks, everyone.